In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to remove the background from your photos, and then we're going to take that picture, put it in Cricut Design Space, and make silhouettes for whatever crafts you have in mind. My name is Nisha, welcome to Little Craft Nest, where I show you some fun crafting projects and you learn how to master your Cricut machine. So I'm going to show you how to remove the background from your photos, and all you need is an iPhone. You don't need any apps, you don't need a website, just the phone. And once you see how I do this, you are going to be using it all the time. I use it all the time and I absolutely love this function. So let's go ahead and take a picture. You can take a picture of a person, an object, whatever you want, or go scroll through your photos and find a photo that you want to use. Then tap your photo and a magic line will start to appear around the outside of your image. You're going to click on share and then click on save image. Swipe over to the next photo and there you'll see your new photo without a background. Then you can go ahead and upload your photo to your computer. I'm going to open up a new project in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to click on upload, upload image, and then I'm going to find that picture that I just took and just drop it into Design Space. I'm going to select complex However, you can select simple if you're only planning to use the photo as a silhouette, but if you want to use the picture as a picture and maybe make some stickers or other prints with it, you'll want to save it as complex. So press continue, and we don't need to do anything to this image, unless if you zoom in, and for example, if you see any flyaway hairs in your image, you can manually grab the eraser and then just get rid of those stray pieces of hair or anything that you see out of place. My picture looks pretty good, so I'm not going to be touching this up. So let's press apply and continue. So on the left here, you can see what our cut image would look like. That's just a silhouette. And here is our print then cut image. I'm actually going to save my picture as a print then cut image because I can always change my image to a cut file later on on my canvas. However, if I save it as a cut image, I won't be able to change it to a photo once I have saved it, unless I upload the picture again. So that's why I'm going to use the print then cut image. And you can go ahead and just name your photo if you want to or not and then click on upload. And then we're going to select that picture that we just uploaded and click on add to canvas. And let's shrink this down a little bit. It is rather large and I won't be printing out an image this big. So to turn this into a silhouette, all we have to do is go up to operation and click on basic. And there's our silhouette. But you will notice if you zoom in, that some of these edges look quite choppy. And I'm going to show you a way to fix that so that your Cricut machine isn't doing a whole pile of jagged edge cuts. So to fix that, we're going to go up to offset and we are going to change the offset to 0.001 and then press apply. And you'll see the offset layer here in our layers panel and you can just move it over to the side. And if you zoom in, you'll notice that the edges are a little smoother. So I'm going to get rid of the original image here because I don't want that one. I just want to keep the offset. And then if you find you have too much body, you just really want to do the head, what you can do is just grab a shape. So we're going to grab a square and we're going to slice off the bottom here. So decide what part of the silhouette you want. Let's say you just wanted this piece. And then you can just select your two images here and go to combine and subtract. And so here is our final silhouette image. Now, what can you do with this silhouette image? Well, you can put it on a canvas. If you are a teacher, a great craft you can do with your kids is have them color the back of a canvas or even just a large piece of paper in all different colors. And then you can go ahead and put their silhouette right on top of that. And it turns out amazing. Another thing you can do is cut this out of vinyl, put it on an ornament and give that as a gift. You can make a card out of this. There are just so many options. You can also alter this image a few different ways. So another fun way you could do a craft is by duplicating this. So let's duplicate it twice. So now we have three different faces. Let's change the colors of them. So let's do red, yellow, 
and orange. And then you can line them up on top of each other. Let's bring this one to the front. So arrange, bring to front. And you could put this on a card or something and that looks pretty neat. Another fun thing you can do with your layers here is you can select all three of them. You can go over to combine and then click on exclude and you have a really cool image coming up this way. So the options are absolutely endless of what you can do with silhouette photos. Another fun idea you can do is upload an image. I have an image here of fireworks. I'm just going to arrange and bring this picture here to the front. We're going to change this to a guide layer and that way we're going to be able to see through our silhouette. And then what we can do is select both our photo and our silhouette layers. Go down and click on slice. And now we're going to move our slice layers out of the way. There's our stencil. We can delete that. And there is our new image. And let's delete this one over here. And that just looks stunning. You can do this with absolutely any photo. So there's another fun idea. If you learned something new in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more crafting and Cricut tutorials. I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.